Will an egg kill you? Um, maybe if you've got like an allergy. You're not allergic. We're not talking about kill you in that kind of way. We want to know if an egg can kill you with blunt force trauma. How fast does an egg have to be going before it could potentially kill you? And it depends on where it hits you. Obviously, in the kneecap wouldn't kill you, it just hurt. If an egg hits confirm. you in the temple at like or 200 like miles the an hour. Brain stem back there. Do you think it would kill you? Or like your heart stomach like there's some you know the death spots <laughs> that uh I, I think you could get it going fast enough like there's not a whole ton of mass but going that fast i think you could do enough damage so we have a giant air cannon we've got an inch and a half and a two inch barrel on it we're going to figure out which method of opening up the air cannon is going to be fastest so we either have a ball valve that you open up by hand or we have a dump valve that you open electronically and it, it floods the, the barrel with air a lot faster. So our test projectile is going to be this steel bullet that we made. We painted it red so it'll show up a little bit better. Our barrel is clear PVC and then we've got this board with two inch markings so we can measure how fast it is moving down the barrel. Once we figure out which one does it better, then we'll do that. Yeah! Better. <laughs> Three, two, one. I think we can all agree that this bullet would have killed somebody, but now we need to put the dump valve on and then see if we can get a faster acceleration out the barrel. Kill somebody faster. We need to kill him faster. We could just put the camera at the end of the barrel and measure the speed there, but we found clear PVC, and so we want to do this just because it's cool. Well, it was mainly for the egg to see what happens when we launch the egg inside the barrel. Yeah. Three, two, one. That was quieter. So two things. The ball valve test was the first one that we did, so the compressor had more PSI. It was at a max of 140 PSI for that test. It actually took us a couple tries with the dump valve because the barrel kept shooting off. Two, one. Two, one. So the compressor, by that point, it was at about 110 PSI. So we lost about 30 PSI and it was still faster with the dump valve. So we'll check the velocity of that metal bullet right as it leaves the barrel with a full compressor and then measure the speed of that. In order to fill up that compressor, we have to push it from way over there and all of the bearings in the wheels are bad, so it's really hard and that's why we didn't do it in between each, each try. Three, two, one. Our barrel stayed on, we were full pressure. And we got wedged in here and we're missing Oh, probably 50% of our paint. In high speed, it makes the bullet look like it's shooting like way up out there. But our board was kind of sloped down and the barrel did rise a little bit. We still hit the board in the middle, but that high speed makes it look kind of scary. The feet 30... per second on the... We doubled our feet per second from what we saw inside the barrel. It was 150 feet per second to 298. Which translates to outside like the muzzle velocity, how many miles per hour? 203 for Two. that big steel slug. Which like, has a lot of mass. Oh yeah, that's a ton of force. So the eggs will not be going that fast. And I think if we try to make the eggs go that fast, they're going to explode. I kind of want to see it at first though. Yeah, we'll try it. Yeah, let's launch one first just at normal speed through the barrel and see what happens. And then we'll see what we need to do to keep it intact and then see if that will be enough force to hurt. So we're gonna put some kind of wadding in there so we can get more force behind it. And the egg looks really bloody because we tried to spray paint it red so that it would show up a little bit better. But I think this one's just gonna explode. Let's find out. Three, two, one. I think that stayed intact. <laughs> I saw like a blur. There's a little tiny thing dripping there, that's all I see. I guess you get some red shells. 
So a high speed missed it, but there is no egg residue in the barrel at all. I think it stayed intact, so we're gonna set up a target and then see if we can hit him in the face. Three, two, one. It's like all egg vapor. That's weird, the first time we shot it, it didn't blow up. The second time with slightly less pressure and it blew up. Three, two, one. This dummy is supposed to somewhat represent actual tissue. We hit him right in the chin and the egg was intact. I don't think it cut anything. Are you ready to shoot your stomach down? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm really scared now. So it's no visible damage on the dummy. The next step is we want to measure how fast that egg is going, weigh it, figure out how much force is hitting that dummy in the face, and then see if Dan wants to be hit in the stomach with that same amount of force. See if I still want to do that or not. After reviewing the high speed, this egg, which weighs two ounces, 176 feet per second, hitting you in the face. So when it hits you in the face, it's a little bit less than that. I don't think it would kill you. It's only two ounces and it's not solid. Like it'll, it absorbs a lot of the impact, right? Yeah, just like immediately crushes. So it'd just be like a paintball that hurts a lot. I think. A golf ball weighs about 1.6 ounces and the average speed that a golf ball is going off of a driver is about 147 miles an hour. Um, our egg was going about 120 miles an hour and golf balls have in the past they have killed people if they hit them just right but they don't absorb the impact like an egg an egg just kind of breaks away and it loses all of its energy and a golf ball in order to kill you has to hit you in just the right spot so will an egg kill you I get probably in just the right spot. It's plausible, but probably not very likely. Last test. We're going to do one more egg, but shoot it at a cardboard box. If it doesn't go through the box, then I think we can say that you're, you'll most likely be fine. Three, two, one. <laughs> so our egg went straight through there. Hadn't broken yet. Went through there. And then it broke when it hit the board behind. So I don't know what to believe now. <laughs> I mean, Dan said if it broke on the cardboard box, I could shoot him in the stomach. So or if it didn't break. Yeah, if it didn't break on the cardboard box. Or like broke on the outside, I mean. Didn't go through the box. Yeah, that. Then I could shoot him in the stomach. Um, so but this is a no-go. Now I, I don't know. I don't know. It's slower than a paintball, but more mass. I think... I think you'd still be fine, Dan. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you think that would could kill somebody in the right scenario. Because I, I don't know. I think this is inconclusive. You guys let us know. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, you might want to consider subscribing for three armor points. If you want to watch a video where we cut some fruit and eggs and stuff in a water jet, click here. Whoa! And uh, if you want to see what YouTube thinks you'll like, click here. Thanks for watching.